And hello everyone, this is Mudchillin bringing you Domination on Terrace. And this is my first commentary in what seems like two weeks. Now, I wanted to say I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I know uh, Nakajua, aka Steve, aka the best friend a guy could have, uh, covered for me while I was away. I know he filled you in uh, on what has been going on on, on uh, my end. Uh, and I have to thank him for that. Thank you, my, my friend, for uh, filling in and taking care of business for me while I was gone. And uh, I gotta say, I missed you guys. I missed not only producing and making videos and editing all this stuff, but I really missed like interacting with, with everybody. Uh, you know, socializing, uh, watching your guys' videos, uh, commenting, and, and just the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. I missed it. And uh, it's definitely, it was a great vacation. Uh, we went uh, on a cruise, which was awesome, much needed, uh, but I'm ready to get back to work. I'm ready to start putting out my videos. So um, thanks for sticking with me and uh, putting up with uh, the lack of, of videos the last couple, I think it's been like two weeks uh, since, since I've gotten to produce anything. And uh, the series is still ongoing. It's all been recorded. It will be uh, released now in a timely manner now that I'm back and I'm gonna force Nakajuga to do those intros and continue to make them as awesome as they have been uh, but uh, how have you guys been uh, I hope you guys have been well uh, I do look forward to uh, watching your guys' uh, videos like I said uh, I do have uh, I follow a lot of people and uh, just so much good content that I've missed since uh, being gone I apparently black ops 2 video was released uh, I have or excuse me three and uh, I haven't even gotten to see that yet. It's just been one crazy hectic uh, thing, one after another. Um, I did I did go uh, on a cruise, like I said. Uh, before that, we I got married, and uh, that was a big crazy event. And um, yeah, man, it's just been it's been a hectic two weeks. But uh, I'm glad that's all over with, and uh, I can get back to just like normal everyday life, uh, which is definitely a nice uh, nice to get back to. Uh, because uh, I, you know. It, that, that stuff can be pretty stressful and uh, these videos are a really good escape just to to do something besides work and uh, now Shannon my now wife she can relax and uh, she's on summer vacation because she's a teacher so uh, she's definitely happy uh, to not be working so things are just finally winding down which is which is nice uh, also uh, I will be uploading tomorrow uh, my my bell coot video I guess I'm gonna call it that uh, it's like I'm a month late on it uh, I recorded it like maybe <clears throat> excuse me like two weeks ago uh, when right before right before I went on vacation and uh, I meant to get it out then however I was not able to uh, release it in time however I was not able to release it in time and uh, so that's gonna be coming out tomorrow excuse the tardiness but I think it's still gonna be a good video Either way, uh, it's still going to be, you know, fun and entertaining to watch, and uh, you guys are going to learn a little bit about me, and uh, I am behind on that curb, but nonetheless, it is coming out. So that's uh, that'll be out tomorrow, like I said. And um, other than that, uh, the I think I'm going to be posting just some things from from the trip. It was really really cool. Uh, we went to uh, Aruba. No, that wasn't even the first one. It was Grand Turk, uh, then Dominican Republic, La Romana. And then we went to Curacao, and last but not least, we went to Aruba. It was like a eight-day cruise, which was my first cruise, and quite an experience. Uh, I probably gained like 10 to 15 pounds on that cruise. Uh, they feed you so much, and I, I guess it's really up to the individual. However, uh, when there's all this food and 24-7 ice cream available, how can you say no? It is so difficult to say no. So I had like... I averaged, I'd say I average about two ice cream cones a day, uh, not to mention the other desserts that they give you. It was bad. Uh, I need to hit the gym. <laughs> it's it's game time in all fronts, and not only in the Call of Duty video uh, area, but also in real life because uh, that was, ugh. I just, I need like to detox after all that. Um, also, uh, Man, I I just have so much so so much to talk about uh, that's not gonna be able to be covered all in this video, uh, but it was so much fun, uh, guys. I had uh, my brother come down, uh, and my two uh, good friends, 
Jeff and Tommy come down uh, for the wedding, and uh, that make that made up my groomsmen. Uh, the bachelor party was awesome. Uh, it was just such a good time to have everybody like I don't know. It just to have everybody like your family and your, your close friends uh, to all be in the same room with you is so awesome. So that was really cool. I really enjoyed. Uh, I really enjoyed that experience. Um, oh yeah, and back to the cruise, I completely forgot. Uh, I had actually ended up holding a, a nurse shark uh, during the snorkeling um, adventure in Grand Turk. Uh, basically, you go snorkeling uh, near the reefs, and uh, they say in the in the description that oh, you'll get to meet uh, a friendly nurse shark, and um, that's that's all I really tell you. And you're like, well, that's concerning somewhat uh i you know never seen one up close i'd never want to see one up close i don't care what kind of shark it is i've seen jaws i know what happens and i don't want to be a part of that and uh this guy this like fearless dominican guy ends up you know like we were snorkeling he's like this way to the shark and i'm like no nah, i don't think so man that's a little a little scary but uh you know i'm like what how often are you going to be able to do this so all right i go i play along and uh you know again snorkeling so i'm looking down and sure enough there's this nurse shark um you know at the bottom it's probably about like 10 to 12 feet deep um could be way off on that and uh he this man just picks up the shark like it's nothing like he has done this a million times and that was quite <laughs> a sight and then he just brings it to the surface and he's like all right now who wants to hold it and i'm thinking all right, all right. It's one thing to see it up close, but now you now you're telling us to hold this thing. Uh, I don't know. However, I had to do it, and it was really cool. Uh, definitely not what I expected them to feel like. Actually, I don't really know what I expected a shark to feel like. Uh, but it was it was interesting. It was very interesting. Got some cool pictures. Uh, it was it was just man, what an experience um, to just hold one of those things. Uh, and also, uh, we held some stingrays as well. Again, they don't even... It's so weird. I guess it's a relationship that they develop, you know, the stingrays know and the sharks knows, hey, this guy gives me all this food. We should be friends. And uh, that's that's what they... Uh, that's how it works. <laughs> and so the stingray, they just come up to these people and, uh, like, the guy, like, hugged them. And it was, again, what a sight. Uh, and so we got to hold them too. So that was pretty cool and entertaining and interesting. Anyway, I, I have run out of time. I'm back, guys. I look forward to more videos. I look forward to watching your guys' videos again. Uh, I missed you guys. Take care. Till next time. 27 and 6.